right, so today I'm going to use Purgatory Barnes team in Elite PvP using HP food. So with that, let's get into it. Uh, this is pre-recorded. And I'm doing my voiceover after it's recorded. Does that make sense? Because I forgot to use my mic when I originally recorded it. And yes, I managed to pull Purgatory Barn. You might be wondering... Where's the clean up? Uh, <laughs> someone's went horrible and, you know, uh, footage corrupted, which is a big deal on my phone. Because I've had a lot of videos prepared, but since low storage and space, because I have too much games, they just corrupt and then I can't upload them and you know make content so that's why I've been gone for three weeks uh, also because I haven't been feeling the greatest but I'm back now and that's all that matters I guess um, as I think this is the first video I'm using my new thumbnail not thumbnail um, overlay or it may have been the assault mode melee odors video I used it. Speaking of assault mode melee odors, um, I'm not using this team that much anymore. One, Barn can be so strong and <laughs> almost forfeited there. But yes, getting back to what I was speaking about, Barn is just too strong straight up from. Oh, too straight from the start. Sorry for my stuttering. You know I stutter. It's a thing on my channel now where I stutter. So I am antisocial. I'm very sorry. But um, with a melee, he, you have to build him damage up. I mean, yeah, you can say the same with Barn, but look. If you get lucky merges and stuff, he's good. Just watch this ultimate. So he has three of his passive and then his blue card, which was a level two. So not full passive. And he has uh, 491. Well, 491,000. And then, you know, look at the one's health right now. Demolished. 289,000. To Barn and the one Escanor. So you can obviously see why Purgatory Barn is actually really good. And with that, um, that concludes this match because Purgatory Barn is very OP. And also, there's a very good game at the end so um be sure to stick around for that and i'll see you all in the next match all right we're here for our next match facing of course a purgatory barn team and i'm still using hp food because barn relies on hp for his damage and as you can see from all of my well from this and last game I'm pretty sure last game I used Taunt and then Barn's blue card. That's because I want to see if I can get a level 2 Barn attack card. Because I can merge them together then have my ultimate. I'm pretty sure. Well no, what I normally do is Taunt, Barn blue card. Hope for a um, other Purgatory Barn attack card. Merge. Um move cards and then press the barn card just so i get them yep yeah, as you can see there so i just wait a turn because then i have purgatory bonds ultimate and then i'm in a good spot because whoever gets purgatory bonds ultimate first is the winner well can be the winner unless you have them 6-6 six, six. if you have them 6-6 six, six, yeah you've won because of the rupture at 6-6 six, six which is very broken but um yeah
And another reason why I wasn't uploading was because I just didn't feel like it at the time. I wasn't having a good time with Grand Cross because I was getting super unlucky and um, I didn't really have time. Plus, you know, personal stuff. So, but I'm recording again. I haven't, I'm not gone forever, I guess. I'm going to st still try and make content. And I'm am going to do a final boss video tomorrow. Or I might do a double upload today. But I have... Well, it's currently 9.13pm. And it's the 13th of July. So, I don't know if I'm going to record a video. I'm most probably going to do a video tomorrow. Or I'll just do a video in a few days because I want to get into a routine of uploading twice a week or something. And I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, sorry I just cut off from all that <laughs> waffling on about um, when I'm going to upload it. Then have to say see you in the next video. But this game right here. Wait. Yeah, this game right here. It was very close. This one has to be one of my favourite PvP matches I've ever had. And yes, I'm in Platinum uh, 5 now in Elite. I haven't been playing PvP a lot. I just play it when I do videos and I just play it to see how good teams are. But um, I need to still work on Escanor, Barn and Arthur. And the god himself. Lord Twig. The Lord Twig. <laughs> I started stairs <laughs> just to say Lord Twig. But what I meant was Twig God. But yeah another reason why you need to be so careful with the pawn team is you have to have the lucky merges and like lucky draws. If you keep pulling Arthur and Barn cards, I'm uh, not Barn, uh, the one Escanor or whoever you're using with the Barn team, and you don't pull no Barn cards, you're in some trouble. <laughs> because, you know, Barn gets uh, his passive from moving cards or using cards each turn. And it's only applied to five times. So once you get the alt gauge, you can't get any of his passive. And the only way to increase the damage is to use his blue card. But what I'll do now is actually commentate over this match because it was such, it was so good. So I'm checking his bonds oh, and I believe it is three or four six. And my bond is one six. Um, I pulled him from a single. All right. Uh, Go follow my Instagram to actually see my posts and see what I've been up to on Grand Cross lately. And as you can see, I just one shot um, Arthur and I got his death damage from on Barn. Then I taunt because he's in taunts very good. And he uses Nashi in the back for the. Um, I think he gives extra buffs and then if you attack him he um de like gets rid of alt gauge. So I'm um, right now I'm 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 terrified of this barn because you know a lot. But he didn't do that much for a four or three six barn. I think he's four six. And then he uses a level two HP. And <laughs> Here's where I make the stupid mistake. I use that barn card. Not knowing that he gets rid of alt gauge. Watch. Yep. He gets rid of two alt gauge. So I was there confused. But then I remember. No, hmm. no, she gets rid of alt gauge. Fun. So, you know, Arthur is tanking. Arthur is still tanking. But sometimes you just have to say goodbye. <laughs> uh, Arthur done the best he could. He got rid of um, 
oh gauges and here we have my level 65 twig god at five star super awakened so i use my barn blue card and then i just use the espinor all cards because as you can see i have cheeky barn cards and i've already got his ultimate um <laughs> but you know so far this has been a really close game so, you know, have Barnes ult. And, you know, Nanashi can decrease ult gauge. He goes for the one Escanor. That's the only reason I won. Only reason I won was because he made a mistake. Because, you know, Barn, my Barn has max passive and his blue cards. So I just, you know, <laughs> double click being so fast just so I know I can attack and then fairly good damage you know Bond swipes in it's just the one Escanor alive I'm using the Bond cards and so I give up a light battle because it was actually such a good game and with that thank you for watching I will see you all in the next video